Okay, we are at uh, Act One, Scene Four. Go. Enter Hamlet, Horatio, and Marcellus. Okay. Um. This is uh. Where does it say uh? The where platform. It is? Okay. Uh, where is that platform? Like in the front of the castle. Yeah. Uh, you realize that uh. Bernardo's not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Because he's afraid. Uh, no. Because, uh, I think because these people are thinking that the ghost might do something, and they don't want these soldiers to know. And did you realize? Oh, wait, uh, you probably didn't. Um, in the whole play, this thing did not leak. Nobody else, other than these five people, know about this.、Mm -hmm. So these are very good soldiers. They did not leak this whole thing. Uh huh.、Um, okay, next. Hamlet. The air bites shrewdly. It is very cold. Okay, now, biting.、Uh, you understand,、uh, biting, right? Yeah, the yeah, motion that、chew. your mas masseter、yeah. chews on food. It's like wind biting on your skin. You know what that means? It's really cold. Yeah. Or、uh, it's really windy. Cold. Right.、Uh, actually, it it actually happens if it's、uh, let's say the Fahrenheit. If it's thirty、uh, or forty under, that's what it feels. It's really it hurts like biting. It it actually feels that way. And Denmark, you know, is very north, right? Uh, shroudly. Uh, it's a、uh, uh, shroud is. Yes,、yeah, shroudly. Oh. S H R E W. Okay, I have shroudly, but anyway, shroudly means um the cloth that you wrap up dead body, right? So it's basically sounds shroudly. <laughs> you know what shroudly means? Wicked. You know, um. Means uh, uh, badly. Oh.、Okay. Uh, wicked means uh, re re really weird. Anyway, let's go. Uh, Horatio, it is a nipping and an eager air. Yeah, you you know what nipping means? No. Uh, nipping means uh, uh, you you know what pinching means, right? Yeah, yeah, like, like you、that. squeeze hard on someone. Yeah,、uh, with the very you know nails. Yeah,、Sorry. and pick on a very small area, right? Mhm.、Mm um, and basically, nipping and biting the same thing, right? Yeah. And、uh, eager, you know what eager is? Like you have an eager you、really、to do want something. To. Really want to do something, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. That's what I that's said. I said. Yeah, it means very sharp.、Um, okay, next. Hamlet, what hour now? Okay. Horatio, I think it lacks of twelve. Lacks is that before or after? Uh, before. Okay. No, it's before. Lacks.、Uh, Not quite yet. Before. Yeah. Next. Marcellus, no, it is struck. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it already passed twelve. Okay. Who do you believe? Marcellus. Why? Because he's the one that's like. Um, have to like go to all these、um, times, like all these watches, and he's like. Yeah, but he doesn't he go. Knows, he's like, an officer. Yeah. But the officer should have more of a sense of time because uh, um, they they coordinate with other people in attacking or whatever it is.、Um, Horatio is the scholar, and he just study things. And time is not that critical, so probably we remember.、Uh, we、uh, believe Marcellus. Marcellus.、Mm -hmm. Next. Horatio, indeed, I heard it not. It then <laughs> so he's he's still insisting on it, huh? He Horatio doesn't believe Marcellus. Let Let's go. Sorry. It then the sun draws near the season, wherein the sprite hold spirit spirit holds his want to walk. Okay, uh, want is habit. This、uh -huh. spirit、yeah. held is want is to keep the habit. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So it is near the time when you know, the the spirit. Who's the spirit? The、um, old Hamlet. Yeah, hold his、uh, one. It was hold his habit to walk, which means to、Go、appear. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They're gonna. Yeah. You're right. Exactly. Marching stately, right in front of us. <laughs> okay. Next. A flourish of trumpet and two pieces go off. What's flourish? How do you know? It's. A sound of the trumpet when some royal peoples go in. Yeah, it's like a. Or are coming. Yeah, it's a way to tell everybody. Okay, stand up, show respect, or something, right? 
Yeah, mm -hmm. to like the king. Yeah, the king. and actually, uh, we have That's a tune called. Dance. Uh, we have a tune called I think the Hail to the President, and that we use in the United States. So wherever a president goes, they play that song. Uh, I forgot the tune. Well, I forgot what it sounded like. Uh, anyway, um, and uh, Abby, you're asking something. What does orange dance mean? Oh. Uh, and two pieces of orange dance go off. Two pieces. Two goes pieces off. of orange dance. I don't even know. Uh, I I have here oh. drums are pounded, trumpets. Blair and cannons fire. That's it. Then Horatio continues. All the floors of trumpets and two pieces goes off and that's it. Two pieces. Okay, can I see? Can I, can, let, me, let me see yours. Where is it? Point. Okay. Let me see. Oh, ordinance. Uh, that means uh, just shells. They, they, they fire two uh, cannon fires. Ordnance is uh, artillery. You know, you know they, sh they shoot one shell out on, on mm -hmm. a big gun. Two of them go out, went out, um, okay. went off. Okay. Yeah. Next. What does this mean, my lord? Uh, who's asking? Oh, yeah, Horatio. Okay, now. Go. Hamlet, the king doth wake tonight and takes his rouse. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is Horatio doesn't know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When um. Claudio was, was talking before uh, Horatio was not there, right? So probably nobody told him. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this uh, firing cannons. Uh, when you uh, you have this, uh, in those days there's no cars, right? Yeah. Now we drive everywhere, which is I don't know is a good thing or bad thing, but um, the city spread out very large today, right? Yeah. Because we got the freeways, we got cars and stuff. In those days they don't have freeways, they don't have cars, so. Uh, probably the city is very small, right? Yeah. And then when you shoot these cannons, and this is the middle of the night, they're going to do this all, day, all night long, and probably people cannot sleep, right? Yeah. That's one thing, which is probably not that important. But they're preparing for war, right? Yeah. What do you want to, what do you want to prepare people's mind, average people's mind, when the cannon go, goes out? It probably means war, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're celebrating and, and firing off cannons like crazy, well, guess what if uh, uh, the bad guys are here, Fortinbras is here, and then when you fire off the cannons, and people are just thinking you're celebrating. <laughs> There's a, I don't know if there is a system at night, if the enemy attacks, there is another way that you tell everybody we're under attack. So these cannons is a problem. And that uh, pretty much says one thing: the Claudius, this guy has never been a battleground, right? Never been fighting. Yeah, he's been the talker, and he can sweet talk Gertrude into you know. Um, but he cannot. Uh, he probably never fight a war. He, he was not considering about the war, right? Mm -hmm. He's not a sort of war boss, right? Or general. A general would not have this happen because you want the people to do something. You want, in in those days the the towns are not very, that big. Yeah. You have everybody needs to know the, when there is a war what they need to do and the signal probably is cannon. And obviously, uh, because he's doing all this, Claudia is doing all this, we know that he didn't do any of this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do next. Chiefs will sail and the swaggering uh up spring wheels. Okay. Uh what's what's uh what sail is uh uh drinking crazy. Uh, swaggering is um, uh, sort of walking not quite stable, halfway drunk. Uh -huh. uh, upspring, you know what upspring is? You know what a spring is? Yeah, yeah it, it's like uh, something, something that right. weighs, oh um, yeah, like a spring. It's kind of a curvy piece of metal uh -huh. when you like push it on the table and let go. It yeah, just pump, spring up means up. goes up, right? A reel means uh, kind of uh, spinning. So this He's he's describing a kind of dance, which is people swaggering, uh, and upspring and turn around and reel. Um, it's probably some kind of a German dance, but now we're just talking about they're drinking like crazy and do this German dance. Next. And as he drinks, his drops of Rhenish down. Well, what's Rhenish? Ra um, um, some wine. Yeah. 
uh, you you know Rhine, right? Yeah, Rhine wine. Yeah, Rhine is a river that goes from Switzerland actually to the lowland. Uh, it passes uh, Germany. But next, uh, the kettle drum and trumpet thus bray out the triumph of his pledge. Okay, uh, kettle drum is a drum. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the and the trumpet is a trumpet. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, thus, bray out is a a heart. Bray out is like a donkey cry. Um, yeah. The triumph. Uh, triumph means um. Like you're so happy. Yeah, victory that yeah. you win, right? Victory. The word come from um the old days when the Roman. Uh, king or emperor, the, the, after they win a victory, or actually probably Roman general, after they win victory, they come back to Rome, then they parade down the, the, the big streets, which is called triumph. Um, the triumph of his pledge. His pledge is his promise, right? Mm -hmm. His promise of uh, uh, sh firing out cannon, whatever um, he, he has. Drinks uh, yeah, like he drinks like crazy. Yeah. Next. Uh, Horatio. Is there a custom? Right. Uh, also, um, I mean to say that um, you can see the contrast, right? The Claudius was, was, was going crazy. Yeah. And these people are stand, standing in bitter cold, cold night, right? These three. Yeah. You can see that. In uh, writing, you, uh, you want to have these contracts going to make a point. And now you have all these people, they're probably on the stage, you should... Uh, if you're the uh, director, you let them do something that uh, is very cold. But then you see, see the cannon firing and all the whatever, probably the noise and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Now there's a contrast. Um, then Horatio want to know if it is a uh, custom. What does that say to Hora about Horatio? He doesn't know, right? Like about like what the king is gonna do. The, 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 what the, is it the custom? Is it? Is it, like, a, is it like is it like an everyday thing? Yeah. You, like you just yeah. blast cannons in the air when you do. Do you guys normally do this? Yeah. In other words, he's not from around there, right? He doesn't know the custom. He's asking, is it a custom? In other words, he doesn't know the Danish custom, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. So he's not from there. The, 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 that point probably uh, Shakespeare already made it before. Next. Hamlet. Hamlet. A. I marry it. Is, it, uh, it is. It is. Okay. But to my mind, though I am native here, and to the matter born, it is to a the, custom. To the to man, the matter born. Matter born. Yeah. It is a custom. Go. More honored in the breach than the observance. observance. Okay, observance means that you actually observe it. You 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 follow it, no. right? Breach means you didn't do it, right? Uh -huh. Let's say you have a con you have a contract and you you decide you promise to say you promise to give Abby a hundred hundred dollars then you say I'm not gonna give it to you that's a breach okay uh, breach also means war but let's let's not deal with that but uh, he's saying that Hamlet talking here uh, to my mind though I'm I'm born here right I'm a native here mm -hmm. and I'm born to these manners these crazy drinkings and it is a custom. It's better. It's more honor. Just let's just forget about all of this. Abandon all of these habits. Then uh, to keep it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next. This heavy-headed heavy -headed revel, revel, yeah. Revel east and west makes us reduce and tax of other nations. Okay. Heavy-headed means um, after you drink, you you guys never drunk before, so. Uh, <laughs> After you drink, <laughs> you get drunk, and then you're heavy-headed. You use, you begin to stutter. You begin to, uh, you don't walk not right, and you mm -hmm. have all of these things. Uh, revel is like a crazy, lively, very noisy uh, kind of uh, enjoyment. Not like you quietly talking to your friends and stuff. East and west means everywhere. Uh, make us traduce means um, it's really it, it really means a disgrace. In, it's come from Latin. Um, that is uh, uh, really means to uh, humiliate people by uh, saying wrong things about them. It's like a libel kind of thing. So okay. you put it together, this heavy-headed 
Revel, this is crazy celebration, right? Yeah. Um, is making us traduced, making us really making us a disgrace, right? Yeah. Everywhere, east and west. Uh huh. And taxed, this other nation tax tax on um, Denmark, right? Yeah. So, uh, it it gave Denmark a very uh, negative uh, impression on all the other people. Tax means, uh, just like a um, having a bad name and uh, that kind of. It doesn't mean you you give them part of the money. Um, is that okay? Uh, do that sen- does that the sentence okay? Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this all of this drinking. Make us traduce everywhere, and make us taxed everywhere by other nations. Do you get this? Yeah. All of this celebration make us uh, traduced, which is uh, a disgrace everywhere, and make us taxed. Get make our name taxed. Make our our name got uh, you know whatever. Did it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Okay. Next. They clap us drunkards and with Swinish phrase soil our okay. addition. <clears throat> uh, What's clip clap? means to call, to name. They 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 clip okay. us drunkard. They call us drunk, and with swinish phrase. You know swinish, what? pigs. They call us pigs. Soil our addition. Uh, addition is like a um, probably the addition that you've seen, like a John Junior or something. You know that they they put a little bit of something after their name. You ever yeah. seen like uh, people say they're whatever PhD? That means that's their academic degree. It's like saying uh, John Dane the pigs. They 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 call the name right. They call for instance like Claudius the pig. Oh, and it's an like addition. You you put Abby something uh, after your name. You use you call that piece addition. You call. Uh, uh, you don't have anything if you after you can see some names right with a lot of letter soups after it. Can I say one? Yeah. Abby's a fat. Hey, no, 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 none of that. Okay. Um, next. Uh, and indeed, it takes from our achievements though performed at height. Okay, indeed, right? It takes this thing reduce our achievements, right? We did a lot of good things, but. All of these drinking and all of this, it reduced it, right? Yeah. yeah. And though performed at height, although even this is performed at the height of our achievement. We did great things, and we celebrate those great things, right? Mm-hmm. But the celebration discount our greatness. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Next. The pith and marrow were attributes. Okay, attribute means uh, characteristics. Yeah. Your your features. Let's What's say. Pith. Uh, attribute. Attributes is like a, a person, right? Uh, you What's can say. Pith? Can I say something about attributes first? Yeah. Um, attributes means uh, let's say uh, a person, right? He's skinny or fat. That's the attribute. He's tall or short. That's another attribute. You understand this? Mm-hmm. He's a uh, skin skin color attribute. Yeah, it looks nice and looks uh, really nasty. Yeah, that's clean an or dirty. One thing can have different kind of attributes, right? Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's what we're talking about. Attribute. What's your question? Pith. Oh, uh, pith is um, okay. In um, in the uh, the plant, right? The stem of the plant, the the outside skin is always hard, right? Yeah. But you cut it through, and then inside, it's like a sponge like. Yeah. You 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 remember reed? What reed? The uh, the um the the thing you blow uh, saxophone with yeah the uh you you have part of the uh the outside skin right mm-hmm. yeah but what you're blowing on is really you're blowing on the pith your 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 mouth water gets gets sucked in it you uh, understand this okay that is mm-hmm. the the pith is sort of sponge like inner um part of the stem of a plant okay right? mm-hmm. and. What we're talking about, this is th- that part compared to the skin is soft, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And marrow is bone marrow. It's the same thing. Yeah. You, that, yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the marrow, the bone is hard, right? And the bone marrow is soft, which is the pith and marrow of our attributes, which is this is the bad part. This is the soft part of our attribute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Next. So 
Of it chances in particular men that for some vicious vicious, vicious mole of nature in them. Okay. Um there is a there is a Chinese saying that uh, I'm I'm talking about the, the passage just now that uh any good thing when it passes a certain point become a bad thing. Um uh-huh. it, it it definitely can is it's applicable here that you, you drink a little bit probably is a good thing uh, but you drink too much uh, according to the Department of Agriculture if a man drinks more than two drinks and women drink more than one drink probably started becoming a bad thing uh, that's not, not my number is uh, uh, you know our great Department of Agri- Agriculture's number but anyway uh, so oft it chances in particular men so fate Chances certain men, right? Mm-hmm. That for some vicious mole, you know, you understand the mole, right? It's a, it's, it's a, some a animal. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a dumb thing. animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, um, uh, it's a, it's a imperfection. Okay, a vicious is a, a little bit of bad, small imperfection, but the imperfection itself is pretty bad. Of nature, it's like you didn't get it, right? Yeah, it come with the nature. Uh huh. Um, Okay, now let's look at this. So oft it chances in particular men. It chances. Did everybody get it? No. Yeah, it chances in particular men, right? Yeah. That for some vicious mole of nature in them. Vicious mole is very bad defect in mm-hmm. them. Okay, somebody by chance gets it. And and it, it becomes, it's a vicious mole. It's a very bad, okay? It's obviously connected with uh, drinking. What is he talking about? He's talking about alcoholism. Those those people drink a lot. Is drinking the the only problem? Mm -hmm. No. Drinking too much is just one of the problems. Alcoholism is is an altogether different thing. Drinking is a small attribute of it. And there's a whole big side of psychological, biological problems that come with it. Uh, But um, that... Well, we're not going to deal with that now. Uh, uh, you never seen anybody who's really alcoholic, but there are lots of alcoholic around. I don't know. It's definitely more than 10% of the people are in America are alcoholic. I know alcoholic. one person. Okay, never mind. Let's not talk about that. Um, uh, next. Uh, where are we? Oh, yeah. As, As in their birth, wherein they are not guilty. This part, Hamlet is actually right by the latest number. Latest evidence, medical evidence, alcoholism is uh, has something is is related with parents. And in other words, if your ancestors, your parents, grandparents, if they're none of them are alcoholic, it's most likely you're not not going to be alcoholic. You can just drink, mm-hmm. and it's okay. You can stop with one drink or stop with two drinks. Uh, one of the problem with the alcoholics is like once they got one drop, they like, they're not going to stop drinking until they're totally drunk or all the alcohols are gone. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of the problems but um, if your parents are okay then probably you're okay uh, next so so we're, we're really um, uh, confirming that uh, Hamlet is talking about alcoholic problems in Denmark next mm-hmm. uh, uh, since nature cannot choose his origin can you choose your mom and dad no yeah that's the point next uh, by the uh, overgrowth of some complexion. Yeah. Okay. Next. Off. Um, Oft breaking, breaking down, down the pales and forts of reason. Okay. Pale, uh, uh, pale and forts. Uh, pale, they're all uh, military defense work. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and reason is pale and forts. Defense work on reason. They're breaking it down. Just breaking down all the uh, defense work of reason. It's basically talking about breaking down all the reasons. Okay. Yeah. Now let's look at this. They're overgrowth. Okay. Mm-hmm. The overgrowth means that you're growing too much. It, it, this is what we're talking about. Anything that you 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 do it beyond a certain degree, even if it's a good thing, it becomes a bad thing. This is what we're talking about here. Um, overgrowth of some complexion. Complexion is like um, uh, how your skin look like. Mm-hmm. You, you you see somebody ah. I think she got a very nice skin, right? You say, she, oh, she had a very nice complexion. Get it? So overgrowth of some complexion. Here, complexion is, a, hey, 
It's another word to say attribute. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. It doesn't mean skin. It means any attributes. What? What? Okay. Overgrowth of some complexion often break down all reasons. You understand? Something. If you go down, you go a little further. The word. Well, yeah. This is actually what we we're talking about. That Chinese saying, right? When you go a little further than reasonable, then all reason are breaking down. Uh huh. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. Or. Or, or by or some habit that. That too much over over leaves the form of passive manners. Plus, yeah. Plus, uh, okay. Let's deal with this over leaving first. Uh, before, how do you break bread? You use flour and can water. You, can you mix flour with water and then bake it? No, you have to put it in put yeast. in yeast. Yeah, right. To make it puffed up. Yeah, that's uh that's ta- that's leaven. Uh, yeast is also called leaven. Over leaven means you're doing it too much. Mm-hmm. What what that happen? If you uh let it um uh, let the ye- that's already even basically you let it rise too long. You don't do anything about it. What I, what happened? Okay, too, too big. That, no, uh, yeah, it's explode. too big. Then then it then it actually collapse. I said explode. So before you um <laughs> bake bread, you almost beat it all down, right? You mm-hmm. beat down all the Air, get all the all the big big air bubble, collapse all of them, and then you put it in um, a warm area, a warm temperature for a little while, like a ten minutes, twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. Then you bake it, so you have all the small holes in there. Uh-huh. Okay, so what what they're ta- he's talking about the same thing. Over leaven means you if you over uh, let let the dough rise over rise right. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the form of plausive manners. So, out of this, uh, when it gets too too um, too big, it's not plausible anymore. It's not good anymore. Okay, mm-hmm. not plausible yeah. manners. In other words, he's saying pretty much the same, exactly the thing that I was just saying. That if you um, do a little bit too much, of course you don't don't okay. rise, then this bread is in no way gonna taste good, right? Taste a piece of rock. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if you over uh, let it over rise, it's gonna wouldn't be the in a good manner. Next. That these men carry, I say, the stamp of one defect. Okay, like what? What is the defect that they drinking carry? Drinking wine. Okay, ne- just next. Drinking. Yeah, say what? Uh, or say what? Being. Being nature's oh. liver or fortune's star. Okay, Fortunes. nature's liver means that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, by nature they're born that way. Fortune star means. That's by luck, right? Mm-hmm. In those days, they uh, tell you uh, f- they still do this, uh, which is called astrology. Um, they look at the formation of stars and tell you what's going to happen to you. You know, good things or bad things happen to you tomorrow and whatever. Can you I believe? tell you an example? No. Oh. Um. Yeah, please just don't do anything personal here, okay? Um, no, it's not personal. It's an example. Okay, go. If you see Mars, bad thing is going to happen. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, it's it's anyway. Uh, let's not. You you believe this? No. No. Okay. Uh, no. No. Whatever. Okay. Uh, it means luck. Okay. Um, okay. Let's uh, stop here.